The ripple effects of the riots were felt in Austin, where DPS had those on the state capitol there on high alert. State Representative James Frank was there in his Austin office preparing for the new legislative session, which starts on Tuesday. Frank says that he feels safe in the Austin Capitol, but says yesterday should, uh, should serve as a reminder for Texans. We are Americans first, party second. Uh, both political parties uh, need to figure this out. We, we've got to stop acting like we hate each other. Uh, and, and you know, that we, we are Americans and more times that we can say we instead of they, I think, uh, in fact, I, I come to believe that they is one of the most dangerous words used in politics. You say they, and then you, you find a, an egregious example of something that somebody has done, and then you attribute that to half the country. The of yesterday's mob attack could have international ramifications, while U.S. rivals said the riot points to flaws and hypocrisy in the United States. America's allies are calling it an attack on democracy. MSU political science professor Dr. Steve Garrison agrees. Secretary of the General Assembly in Turkey saying it's really something to the fact that it's sad that Americans don't understand how democracy works. So just let that sink in for everybody. Um, you know, essentially we're the, the modern foundation of democracy and we can't, we can't follow the rules of law and the Constitution. Russia said that it showed the United States democracy is flawed, that it has an adequate electoral system. Chinese leaders called the country hypocritical because the United States supported an uprising in Hong Kong.